Okay, cool, cool, cool. What's going on, everybody? We're back. Uh, we had a great time last week. We're going to jump right into it once again. This is Mark Winkler. I am the author of a book called My Daughter's Keeper. And sitting across from me, a few miles apart, <laughs> watch last week's episode, you know why we're saying this, is uh, <laughs> my good friend, Ronnie Fernandez, who is also a licensed clinical therapist. Ronnie, what's going on, man? Yeah, man, nothing much, man. Just enjoying the day. <laughs> it's, it's Friday and uh, ready for the weekend. Uh, yeah, man. Just, uh, you got any plans? Um, just hanging out with the family, man. Just hanging out with the family. To do yeah, I, yeah. I don't even know, man. I just don't be with the kids. Be with, being the, kids. with the kids, right? Be with the kids and the see, wife. Man. See, that, there was a time in your life if I would have asked that question, it would have been, oh, we're going to oh. try to do this. I'm going to hang out we're here. Going but it's a we're going to We're going to LA. Now, right? going <laughs> <laughs> nope, it's probably going to be, uh, you know, Disney something, you know. It's <laughs> princess something. <you> know? <laughs> there you go, man. But it's a beautiful thing, right? It is. It's, it's, it is. It's, it's, yeah, man. So yeah. I think. Look, let's 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 jump right into it, man. I, I, we're gonna this week. We're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about masculinity mm -hmm. and how that relates to fatherhood, yeah. right? And so, I think the first thing that we should talk about and try to define, to the best of our ability, right? Because I think there is a growing there's a there's a there's a, there's a shift in what masculinity is. So, Ronnie, why don't you just yeah. Jump off, jump it off for us, and, and give what, what how you define masculinity. I, I think ma masculinity is, I think that's a drive, really. Yeah, I, I, you know, uh, to kind of you know get up in the morning to uh -huh. to, to do things, to accomplish things. Um, I'm I'm very big in, in, in as far as like um, in into masculinity as far as like mm -hmm. I, I feel like men need it. I feel like mm -hmm. it's, it's it's been really. Uh, been shown in a, in a negative light the past couple uh -huh. of years um, uh -huh. and especially with and I hate the phrase toxic toxic masculinity like I, uh -huh. I, I just I cringe, I cringe and then people try uh -huh. to tell me oh it means this like and I'm like no I I, I yeah. just we would not use you know fee, uh, you know um, toxic uh, femininity like we're not going to say that like uh -huh. I'm not going to say uh -huh. oh you're, you're being too nice you're being too like no right and and, and so I, I think when we when I think of masculinity I, I think of how I was able to overcome a lot of my challenges and how I was able to kind of, kind of overcome them. And, and that's, I mean, that's the way that I see it. I, I see it, you know, and for me, it's been, a, it's been a, a balance of like, I know that, you know, I'm a, I'm a therapist and uh -huh. I'm into like, you know, more of the feminine part of like, you know, caring about people and, uh -huh. and, um, and their situation, but I also played football. I was also wanted to, you know, run over people, <laughs> you know, right, right. and be really aggressive. So I, I think that's where I was able to get the, get the balance. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think there has to be a balance between the two. You can't be overmastered where you're just, you know, really aggressive person and you're just going, you're trying to conquer everything by yourself. I mean, it, it's, mm -hmm. when you get older, it has to be more of a balance. Yeah, no, I agree. I think that when I think about masculinity, man, and I think about the term toxic masculinity, yeah. I, I push back a little, but I don't push back too much, right? Because yeah. there has been a lot of toxic behavior yeah. in the masculine universe, right? Yeah. And so I, I look at masculinity, man, as it, being comprised of a lot of things. You know, the drive that you spoke about, mm -hmm. the, the will to, you know, walk out into your environment and try to pull from your environment what from it that will help to make you the best that you can be, your family, your community, and, and, and potentially the world, right? I think what happened was somewhere along the way, masculinity got hijacked, yeah. right? Yeah. And it got hijacked by people who did not necessarily see the greater good. They yeah. didn't see the world from the perspective that, you know, what, how when you do what you do you should make sure that you you do it as a as a gardener would a a field that you plant mm -hmm. and you walk very gingerly around so you don't destroy what you planted right you nurture the ground you water it right and so i think somewhere masculinity got hijacked and it, and it became about aggression it became yeah. about you know you have to conquer you have to destroy in order to, to to get there you 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 do everything by yourself you don't ask for questions you don't cry you don't show your emotions right and i think somewhere that became the definition of masculinity 
And in that definition, when that definition got, got adopted by men and they began to go out into the world with that definition, they began to hurt people, you know, yeah. especially women, right? But also their children, right? And I'm gonna just drop this. They hurt women because they didn't allow for a full and flourishing relationship with the woman, right? Their, their partner or their wife and their children didn't get the best version of, the, of that person. Right, you're a therapist, right? Yeah. And you sit across from men, or you sit next to men, as we talked yeah. about last. Uh, week, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> but your job is to get men to talk, and to talk about their feelings, talk about what's going on inside. Society has told them not to do that, right? And so that masculine, that masculine sort of definition has made it, I think, difficult for men to be who they fully are, and then they bring that into fatherhood. So that's the problem I have with how man masculine has been defined. But I saw a look in your eye. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I I think that. So, how? Do I, yeah, because there's a lot there. Um, uh, there's a lot there, man. Yeah, I thought a lot. I put a lot on your plate today. Yeah. Yeah. Morning. So let me dissect a little bit. <laughs> okay. So, so, um, I I think we got. We, we we grew up we grew up in a kind of an era where there was less fathers in the home, and now we see the decrease of like of churches that you know involved in church that kind of stuff so where's the structure where's the the guidance in that you know mm -hmm. and then what's kind of played in, in the media of what men are supposed to be you know we see a lot of videos we see a lot of um tv shows and movies mm -hmm. where it's defined that this is what men men are and so now mm -hmm. with more and more um you know men being involved in with their families and i, I think mm -hmm. that's kind of where it's kind of started from with this you know as far mm -hmm. as like that that image of of men and mm -hmm. then i also think that it's also you know with the the, the the dynamics of a man and a woman where um women are are very you know a lot of them are very emotional you know <laughs> my mm -hmm. wife is very emotional mm -hmm. and a lot of women are very emotional and they go they go with emotions and so right. with that men have to kind of balance it like not mm -hmm. be so like you know emotional where we have to be kind of mm -hmm. steady i mean i have i have guys that come in and 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 i what's going on and it just and then it comes out right. because it's right. a safe environment that they know that if you know if they cry or i mean like think about it if if um you know if a woman ever sees a guy cry like it's a mm -hmm. pretty it's pretty uncomfortable for them you know and, and it, is, it, changes, yeah. it changes the dynamics you know mm -hmm. of, of 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 what's going on and so yeah. I, I i think it's it's kind of both i mean it's yeah it's it's the way that society has been over over the past couple of decades yeah but i i, I think it's just the result of the lack of guidance for men yeah know? i mean that's I mean, that's kind of what i've seen and it's also uh -huh. um for for women to also be where they you know will they 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 have to be able to sit with them when when men are being vulnerable, you know. Yeah. Because it's really uncomfortable because they're they're used to more of the like, okay, she's gonna cry, she's gonna be emotional, and the man's right. gonna be. It's okay. It's fine. It's it's you know that balance. So right. I, I I think it's 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 both. I think women can also do a better job of of being able to be able to sit in in like just being sad, and it's it's okay because it's uncomfortable. Right. When the dynamics change in any way, it's uncomfortable. Sure. And, I, and so I, I think it, it goes both ways. So, um, so I think there's definitely um, what you're talking about is, you know, there's there's truth to that. And again, mm -hmm. these are all just opinions. You know, like, you right. know, it's it's your, you know, some instance you're right, I'm right, whatever. whatever but yeah, I don't even think it's right. I think it's just different theories that. that well, that we I, 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 you know, look, life was built on theories, right? I was yeah. talking to my daughter about this, and you know, a lot of science is like theoretical. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. And you know, but there's certain truths, but then there's a lot of things that are just not understood. But I, I, I just to, to your point on a couple of things, man. You, when women, women have the have been given basically the world to be safe to express their emotions. Yeah. Right. So they, yeah. so they, so their safe environment is the world. So anywhere they go, they can express their emotions, and they're not considered to be less than who they are. Yeah. Men have been given very little opportunity to do that, Correct. right? And so that's, yes. they can express themselves maybe at a funeral, maybe at, when, they're, when, when a particular ball team wins yeah. <laughs> and they get really emotional, right? They cry, right? So, or, or also when, when the challenge is over. 
so the if challenge he, is over. Yeah. yeah, and so that's why you'll see people cry at like a quarterback right. cry after they win a Super Bowl or something like that. Right. So the challenge is over, and then they're free to like. Then, then they then then they yeah. can emote. Yeah. But they given it. They given a certain amount of time to do that, right? Yeah. So they're not. So they can't do it forever. So I think that both men and women have been pretty much socialized to accept those definitions about men and men, men, women about men and men about women, right? Mm -hmm. I think if there's a shift, right, where women can look at men and if they see a vulnerable man before them, they don't feel a, a loss of safety. Because I think it's about safety with yeah. women. So yeah, when they see so men acting in a certain way, right, that, yeah. that, that doesn't fit with what society says, then they perhaps feel a, a degree less of safety. And men, you, go ahead. Yeah, and I think you're, you're right. Uh -huh. I mean, it, because because if somebody breaks in the house, right? I mean, right. You're gonna put those feelings down. <laughs> you gotta protect right. your family, right? And I right. think it's the same thing with, uh, you know, why sometimes women feel uncomfortable when men are, are vulnerable is because right. okay, if stuff goes down, like you need to handle yeah. this, you know. Sure. And so, but I think all this stuff comes into play, and and I, I think uh -huh. sometimes we just take one kind of angle and like this is why, and it's because you know this, this, and this. It's like no, there's there's a reason why things are the way they are. And uh -huh. so when you change one thing, it, it, it's going to change other things as well. Yeah. But, but though, I think, Ronnie, that, that, that may not necessarily, the change is, is the scary part because that's the unknown, right? What, yeah. what, what does that change look like? Yeah. But I think that the change in and of itself is not a bad thing. We just have to really be clear or try to be as clear as we can about what that change looks like. Because I personally feel that if men are able to express themselves as fully the range of all of their emotions as fully and as frequently as women can, right? And not be seen as weak doing that, mm -hmm. then I think that men could perhaps extend that life expectancy. Oh yeah. <laughs> right oh, because right now definitely. men yeah. live seven to ten years less time than their women. And I know some of that is wrapped up into bottling those emotions up. Look, real quick, I, I watched this series called This Is Us, right? Yes. And there's a character on there who basically that kind of the scenario you just talked about, someone broke in his home, right? Mm -hmm. So I could see there's two dynamics working in him, this fight or flight, right? Yeah. And so he went into fight mode after considering through his emotional sort of display as an actor, the flight thing. But when he was talking to his wife, he did express you know, I was scared. I, I didn't know what to do. But then this. So he had the emotional space yeah. to talk to his wife to the degree that he did. He still held some in. Yeah. But he had the emotional opportunity and space to talk about what he was really feeling in that moment without worrying about his wife thinking, well, if this happened again, will you punk out? Will yeah. you not keep our house safe? Yeah. And so that's what I'm talking about, man, about mm -hmm. men having the opportunity to express more of that range of emotions. Yeah. 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 And, and and I think once, you know, we 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 get stuck in both, I think. And and uh -huh. and I and I think if we if we're too like, you know, too you kind of stone faced, too like I'm just gonna take everything uh -huh. on. I mean that is like that that is very like that's that's terrible. That's a like, lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot to care. And you see guys with that and you see followers yeah. with that and and men in general, where, where they have like the world on the, you know, on them, and yeah. then being able to talk about it is, is no, you don't do that. And then right. you have the other side where you're just talking about everything, and the feelings come out, and it's just like mm -hmm. well, you can't get up in the morning. So I've seen sure. both, and so it's it's right. it's a balance of like, okay, this is what I what I think, and now I'm getting mm -hmm. older. How am I going to adjust to this? You know, right. and and it's you're, you're talking to your partner about that, you know, right. That, because what men often do is they isolate and they think and they go, and mm -hmm. a lot of them they go in these rabbit holes where it's yeah. like, whoa, where are you at, man? You right, know? right. And so you need, you need your spouse to kind of balance you out and sure. say, you know, no, that was me 10 years ago. That was me five right. years ago. This is me now. And so right. that constant conversation, which is hard, man. I mean, especially yeah. you know, have kids and both are working and it's, it's, sure. really, it's really difficult. I think, man, for me, I think, Right. I, I think that's brilliant what you said. I think for me, I think it's it's about balance for both. Right. Yeah. Because if you get a woman who gets so lost in her emotions, she's going to spiral down into that rabbit hole as yes. well. Right. Yes. And so for me, I, I tend I'm moving away from gender roles and looking at human 
this this the human experience, right? And yeah. because I think when I get too wrapped up into gender, this is what this person's supposed to do, this is what this person's supposed to do, then I get into, well, this is the, the and these but then I start thinking, well, who set the, the, the definition for those, yeah, those those dynamics and this is in that society. But then I think, well, when were they set? And then I yeah. start thinking about they were probably set hundreds of years ago. Yeah. Right. <laughs> when society yeah. was much different, right? Yeah. And so I, I do think that I agree with you one hundred percent, man. It's about balance. You don't want to have anyone sitting in the bed eating ice cream <laughs> or yeah. watching endless ESPN not yeah. being able to get out of bed because you're just such an emotional wreck. Yeah, and just yeah, yeah. Ab- absolutely. So it's it's definitely a balance between between the two and yeah, uh-huh. I mean you you have, you know, you, you know, you you have the the definitely tra- traditional roles and that's mm-hmm. kind of like okay, that's kind of like the base, okay? Right. And then YouTube decide what you want to do with that, <laughs> you know? It's like, right. okay, do you want to flip roles? Are you okay uh-huh. with that? Are you and and that's where the conversation comes. And yeah. And and I, I think right now it's it's kind of curving us to like, okay, well, men need to be more this way. It's like, no, it's it's kind of like, okay, there's your base. What are you, what are you going to do with it? You know, is right. is she going to work more? Are you going to nurture sure. more? like and and that's yeah. where where it kind of comes into play. It's it's you know, we're, we're tearing down we're trying to tear down one norm and then we're trying to build up another one and it's like right. not like no it's it's two people coming together it's like okay mm-hmm. how are we going to do this you know right. like right. how are we going to survive this world and and raise children sure and sure. so it's it's more i think it's more of a discussion than like tearing down the, the old and building up a new one it's like what do you what do you two yeah. want no i agree because you know? I, I i think i think you can without tearing the structure down i think you can go into that structure and as you said you can adapt it for what yeah. is right for your family. And I think as we talk about masculinity, because we talked about in the beginning, ma- relating it to fatherhood, uh, I think that, you know, the the example that you're setting for your child, right? Because yeah. you are now, because as you define yourself, as you define your role and your relationship and that balance as we speak up, your child, both a girl child or a boy child, boy child, they're looking at you. Right? Yeah. They're looking at you, they're looking at their mother, and they're seeing how they should, you know, sort of define themselves and then take that self out into the bigger world. So I think it's really important, man, that we not get so rigid and not just adopt a a, a definition of a role and stick to it, if, even no, if even yeah. if it's it's failing for your family. Yeah, no, right? you, it's 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 the conversation between you two. Yeah. And that's right. and that's what we have to say. We can use the um, the traditional family as a base, and uh-huh. then you change it the way you want to survive this crazy it. world. You know I mean? Like, right. and right. and I think that's where the the message more has has to be. It's it's two people coming together on trying trying to like really survive. You know, in right. this world, and 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 we have to kind of stop. Like, I need to be more this, and you need to be more like no. Like, it's you two guys need right. to have a conversation, and it's it's right. hard because we come in. But- Go ahead. Mm-hmm. I know it's, it's hard, man, but I think if, if they do that, I think there's a lesson there that it's not only could be learned about how to make your own family structure right. I think you can take that into the world and say, you know, as you go out and you start interacting with other people, you won't be so rigid about who you are. Yeah. And you'll be more flexible and yeah. you'll be able to negotiate better and not thinking that, well, I, if it doesn't happen this way, then it can't happen. Then it's right? wrong, so or then it's wrong, or right. It's wrong yeah. if it's not this. Yeah. One. I'm very yeah. big on, you know, what I am teaching and showing my children is yeah. not just for this house. Yeah. Right. Because they're all going to be out of here within six years. Mm-hmm. It'll be we'll be empty nesters over here, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'm thinking. Seems so long to me. <laughs> you're looking longer. So I'm, I'm long. thinking. I'm thinking. What am I teaching my children right now? Yeah. That they're going to take out into the world as they become young women and then maybe wives, right? Yeah. So, but, so doing that journey, are we teaching them enough where they can help make the world a better place? Yeah. Yeah. So, and be successful yeah. too, you know? So, right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, man, anyway. sounds good. And I love these conversations. I like the way it's going. And so, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So yeah, we'll just, we'll, we'll keep on going and, uh, and see how and it we goes. hope that you keep on coming back and yeah. leaving comments and, 
And if you got a topic that you want us to discuss, do drop it in the comments and we will put our, our, our minds to it and, and, and we will discuss it. And we hope that you participate because your energy and uh, it really helps to inspire us. So leave some comments and let us know what you're thinking about what's going on. All right. All right, Mark. Thanks, All right, Roddy. All right. I'll see you next time, man. All right. <laughs>